Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. My name is Kim Dent, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I live in Maryland Heights, Missouri. I've been a demonstrator for 20 years, and I love to share my love of card making and stamping and Stampin' Up!, which is the company that I work for. Um, if you're tuning in for the very first time, or if you're just tuning in because you tune in every week, please say hi. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Jan. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> How is everyone tonight? I am, oh, thanks, Karen, for asking. I am doing well. Hello, Miss Jill. <laughs> I'm going to sync my laptop and then we'll get started because I have so much to share with you. Hello, Mary Teal. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Hi, Shirley. I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend. We have. It's been good. The weather, I think, is turning. Yeah, it was. Here, and I agree. It was a very windy day here in St. Louis. Crazy. I'm so glad, though, that their leaves... Uh, still stuck to the trees. I am loving all of the fall colors. Aren't you all? Um, the colors, you, I think we're, we've we got a little bit of extra time with those beautiful fall leaves. Hey, Julie, how are you? Let's see, I gab too much. Hold on just a second. Because <laughs> you all know I would rather gab than do this computer thing, techie thing. we go almost there oh. hi mom almost there there we go all right I have a lot to share with you not only am I going to be stamping um, two adorable cards for y'all tonight but I have a lot of um, Stampin' Up! News to share with you. Oh my goodness, Jill. You drove into snow. I know, it was crazy how it hit. I know Shirley said she saw flakes. Mom told me there were, she heard on the news there were flakes in Clayton. Um, yeah, crazy. Not yet. I don't want the snow yet. Hi, Valerie. Did you make it back from Kansas City? Did you, I wonder if you, I was thinking about you, because I know they, I heard some friends say that there was snow in KC, so I thought, oh, Valerie, that's where she's at. I hope you enjoyed the opera, and thank you for the congratulations. So I'll jump right in. This past couple of days, Thursday, Friday, and yesterday, um, was... And on uh, was a Stampin' Up! It was called On Stage at Home. So um, it would have been like a convention that the Stampin' Up! demonstrators would have gone to. Um, I'm, I think it would have been in Salt Lake City, but I'm not positive about that. Um, but because of COVID and how the world is, um, we it was another virtual event. Um, but I did find out on Thursday night, I guess it was, that... Um, I ranked in uh, sales and team building and leadership. And also they recognized me as an incentive trip winner. So, or not winner, achiever. <laughs> achiever, <laughs> win, I don't win them, I earn them. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so anyway, so that, yeah, I wanted to share with all of my friends and family and all my awesome um, Stampin' Friends. Yeah, it, it was a very good year. And I, I think you've probably heard me say this, that I thought when COVID hit, that was the end of my Stampin' Up! business. So... <laughs> I'm very grateful to all of you who stuck with me through the crazy and still crazy Facebook <laughs> and the YouTubes that I've learned to do. So, so thanks. It's been a great year. <laughs> thanks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm very grateful to all of you and to my team who stuck with me. So thanks. <laughs> I had to grab a tissue. <laughs> Oh, it's happy tears. It's happy tears. Thank you, Claudia. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so thanks. Thanks for all the congratulations. Yeah, it's, it was, um, very exciting and it, <laughs> take a time, <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was a really good year despite, despite COVID. Yeah. So thanks. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I, this might go longer than an hour, guys. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. So, um, the other thing I want to tell you, just one on a side note, because I have people at stamp class um, who asked me who are there in person. Oh, thanks, Valerie. <laughs> thank you. I'm very, very thankful. Um, yeah, I'm not crying. You're crying. I also want all of you know because tuned in all through this that um, I did earn this the incentive trip but they canceled it <laughs> so um, Rick and I won't be taking a cruise in May that was kind of a big bummer uh, we were supposed to we I earned it um, I'm trying to think what month Rick could probably help me out um, and then in October uh, that's when we would register to say yes we definitely are going on the trip and we and that was supposed to be October 19th and on I believe it was October 10th we had a video email video email with a video in it that said that they because of the state of the world that they were going to cancel the cruise line was not canceling but Stampin' Up! was canceling and that, and we have to remind ourselves that it is a global company, the, the South Pacific. Um, I know they weren't able, and I think the Canadians, many, many of the demonstrators who earned the trip, which out of the globally, the demonstrators that earned the trip are in the, you're in the top, I think it's less than 1%. So out of like about 60,000 demonstrators. So it's global so out of those demonstrators there were many that could not attend the um maui trip which was we got to go we got to go on uh, in may but the trip that i earned this past year that we would have gone to in may 2022 they canceled so um but they we did find out the very next day some of you have asked me about this um we found out the next day that they are giving us a um cash out so rick and i do plan on traveling um right now with the wedding and that we just haven't thought too much about it but but we will be taking a trip sometime next year so and thanks to our my sweet friend sandy and karen who have a lovely Anthony travel agent in Florida. We're gonna hook up with him and he's gonna get us a good deal, I think, on a cruise. So I'm not sure where we're going, but we will be going someplace. So no Stampin' Up! trip next year, but right now, so we earn them a year ahead. Um, so right now, Rick, Rick and I are earning earning a uh, trip to, it's a Baltic cruise. And oh my goodness, we're both over the moon, working hard. So that will be 20, if, if, if all goes well, we'll hopefully be going on a cruise, Baltic cruise, which is Russia and Finland and Sweden and Estonia. So stay tuned. We'll be, um, we'll be working hard and um, I'll be doing the Facebook Lives and doing in-person classes and doing different groups. I hope to grow that. So, and keep doing the YouTubes. I might get more and more followers. So that's a good thing too. So anyway, enough of that. So, um, where, where was I going to go with this? Uh, uh, let's see. I'll start out with this. Every week, um, I ask you to like, comment, and share um, my videos. And I appreciate all of you, each and one, every one of you who have done that, as well as told your friends about my group. Um, as well as uh, commented every week. So I'm having two drawing now, drawings now, not just one, two. 
So um, the winner, uh, the winners this past week, um, I they're gonna get the cards that I made. Which hold on, I gotta flip my camera. Let's see if that. There you go. Okay, so the winners are gonna get this one. Look at it, sh glitter and shine. This is with the artistically inked. Um, and there's a little bit of gold foil in there. And create with friends is what I use for that celebrate. Very pretty. And the blob stamp. Don't forget the blob stamp I used to make it like texture. That's in the artistically inked. And along with this, I love this card. This Christmas card is so, it reminds me of like antique, vintage. Oh, the light there. Can you see it? So Mary Melody's embossing folder with a little bit of Sahara Sand ink. Um, this is with Heartfelt Wishes, which don't you love the font on that? That's, it's beautiful words, um, large too. And then more gold foil and then Christmas season. Chris, Christmas season is what we use for the holly berry and the leaves. And then some beautiful gold pearls, which I also use uh, on the Celebrate card. The winners this week are going to get a pack of rhinestones which you know you can color these with your blends if you have them and you can never have enough of these so uh, the first winner drum roll is Karen Amen yay she's tuning in tonight as well as her sister so thank you Karen thanks for commenting the second winner is Debbie Richmond and she shared my video. So Debbie, I don't have your um, address. So please Facebook message me, uh, private Facebook message me, and I will put the cards uh, and the diamonds in the mail to you. And Karen, don't worry, I've got your address. So yours will be popping in the mail real soon. So thank you. All right, now on to big news. Um, Stampin' Up! announced another promotion, which they are just rapid fire, and I'm so excited because that means savings for all of you. So on Tuesday, they're uh, starting with a three-day sale. So no Tuesday the 15th, Wednesday the 16th, and Thursday, wait, Tuesday, oh, I should have looked at this. Yeah, that's right. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 16th, 17th, 18th. Yeah, 16th through the 18th. Um, cardstock is 10% off. You can never have enough. And ink pads, 15% off. And then the big one, 20% off of all the dies. 20! Oh, they're only in all the dies in the annual catalog. So uh, Shirley asked me already, uh, earlier because she was paying attention to my Facebook group. Thank you, Shirley. Um, the dies are 20, or the dies that are 20% off are in the big book, the annual one, not the mini one, not the uh, uh, July through December one. So it's gotta be in the big one, but there are plenty in there it, to take it. I mean, I have some that are on my wish list um, that I'm gonna order. And then stocking up on that card stock is amazing. And then um, the one thing I wanna read you that, the ink pads it's not it excludes the ink pads that are like i want to say stays on and memento they are not in the the sale as well as it's not ink pad bundles so you would have it's individual ink pads and it's it does not include memento stays on it says third party ink pads okay um and then 10 percent off of all of our regular card stock so take get your wish list ready especially for the dies and if you want to stock up it's a great time to do it that's 10 percent is your that's your shipping so um it's like getting free shipping how about that and ink pads the ink pads come out to let's see the card stock is seven normally 875 a pack and it's seven dollars and 87 cents and then the ink pads are normally seven dollars and fifty cents and they are six dollars and thirty seven cents so there's that sale the other one i want to tell you about is the um start with savings which 
I have Peggy joined. I have Sandy on. She joined my team. Um, I have one, Jennifer. Um, Jennifer Jolly. She joined my team. She's got a married name now, though, and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to look. Um, but I've had um, I've had four girls join my team, and I am gonna use Sandy as an example. So Sandy asked me this week about. So for joining, you get $125 worth of product for $75. That in itself is amazing. You get to pick whatever you want. Then they ship it to you um, absolutely for free. You do pay tax, but the shipping is free. And then you automatically, every order you place, you get a 20% discount. So this was such a, um, uh, oh, not Sandy Uloff, Sandy Amen. Sorry, Valerie, Sandy Amen, who is Karen's sister. Um, so this is what I want to point out to you because it was just like this light bulb moment and I think it was a light bulb moment for Sandy as well. So Sandy asked me this sale that is going on uh, like with the dyes. So the dyes are 20% off for everyone, for all of my customers, for all my Stampin' Friends. She asked me then, do you get to take advantage after you sign and to be a demonstrator, do you get that 20% off? Yes. You automatically get the 20% off on the sale and the 20% as a demonstrator. So I was just like, when I'm writing it, I'm like, I should have told more people about this. So Sandy, Amen, thank you very much for bringing that to to my the top of my brain. And sometimes, you know, numbers are not my thing, but thank you. So think about it, girls. You would be on my team. We meet once a month. We have a fantastic time. I'd love to tell, you know, I could gab on and on, but I'm not going to because I got other stuff I'm gonna tell you about. So um, think about it. And that goes through November 30th. So the three day sale is 16th, 17th and 18th. But the sign of uh, the joining is goes through the end of the month. Amazing. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you about is the Eden's Garden. That sale is going on, or not sale, sorry, promotion. That's going on still. And I, you know, you've seen me show the card that I did that's so beautiful. I've shown the beautiful DSP, but I wanted to show the um, garden gems. Let's see. Aren't, I got these. I'm so excited. Aren't they pretty? So the gems and the DSP will go away. It's actually while supplies last. Last, It is um, through January 3rd. But if they sell out of them, when they sell out, they sell out. So if you love those gems and that DSP, order it fast. And then the, the dies and the stamp set, that will carry on into the next catalog, which I got to see this past weekend. It's so good. <laughs> and that leads me to the last thing, and then we'll start stamping. So I, it's because of the on stage, I was uh, a, they, part of our, can, part of the fee, we got a stamp set, which this, I think you've probably, if you're on Pinterest or watch another demonstrators, it's called In the Moment, and it's those beautiful girls, um, kind of like the, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it, Beautiful Moments. This is In the Moments, and I think the other stamp set that's in the big catalog. I made this card yesterday. <laughs> Do you love it? I use the blends. Isn't she pretty? And then the DSP that I used is from Eden's Garden. So pretty. I can't wait to do more of them. And then the other uh, stamp set that we were able to get, this is called Blessings of Home. Sorry about the glare, girls. And there's a die set. Oh, let me, sorry, let me see if I get, this helps. Does that help? Does the glare go away? Isn't that pretty? Blessings of Home. Listen to these words. Thank you for inspiring me. Have a perfect birthday. We can get through anything together. What a beautiful day for love. This is my favorite. 
you are a real blessing to everyone around you. And then these beautiful flowers. And I'm going to show you three cards, and then we're going to start stamping. That's, oh, that helps. Good. Okay. This is a little note card. I stamped, and we all did, so you'll probably see these online because we these were the, we kind of, I think it was called the Stamp and Share, so we were all doing the same projects together. Isn't it pretty? There's DSP. I stamped Cinnamon Cider on um, the Shimmery White, and then there's dyes that go with it. So pretty. Look at this one. Hmm. Oh, so pretty. Guess how I did that? I stamped it on shimmery white, like all the girls, and used a sponge dauber. So quick and easy, but it looks like I colored with blends, but it was with sticking my sponge dauber in an ink pad. And then that's Misty Moonlight and Garden Green. And here's the last one. Thank you for inspiring me. Fresh Freesia, Cinnamon Cider. So pretty. So look for those in the next catalog, which will begin in January. So I told you I had lots and lots to share. So let me get this out of the way. I'm going to uh, flip my camera around. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Turn my light on. And oh, the little thing is... Hold on. I've got so much stuff, girls. I need a, I need an assistant. Is there we go. Oh, sorry about that. My little holder sometimes doesn't want to hold my phone up. Thank, yeah, beautiful words. Thank you, Brenda. I thought so too. Beautiful, beautiful words. And the girls in the window. Oh, and then there's one holding a glass of wine. And we're kind of looking out. And then the one is like reading a book with a dog. She's got a dog. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think I need, I do need it. No, that's worse. I had it. Can't see the coat yet. That's what I'm working on, Joe. Ah. There, there, there. Ah. Okay, let me pull over some more lights. It just looks really dark tonight. I guess probably because of the times. Yeah, it's 730, 723. I need a camera crew. <laughs> All right. First card. Here we go. It is oh, so cute. These colors are very popular. It is pool party and real red. Can you see the shimmer? And pretty more grid paper. Thank you for noticing. This was from on stage. Thank you, Valerie. I know. Isn't it sweet? It kind of, it makes me like not want to um get it dirty <laughs> all right so do you recognize the pretty little snowflake it's from frosted gingerbread it's that snowflake um and then the other stamp set that i use because i wanted a merry christmas is snowman season which we've had for a while but i um have not pulled it out this this christmas season thank you there's the Merry Christmas. So let me pull out the kit and I'll show you. Do you notice this background? I bet Valerie recognizes it. Aw, thanks, Karen. Oh my goodness. I wish that... Looks like it's kind of going crazy. Is it crazy on your end, guys? I don't know why. Oh, it got all fuzzy. Oh, thank you. Yes, Valerie. You, oh, the, the grid paper makes you want to sign up. <laughs> well, yes. All right. The, um, the way that I did this, it almost looks like DSP, but these are, uh, I did it with this, a stencil. Isn't that fun? How many of you, I bet there's some uh, stampers here who stenciled their walls. 
I know I can remember stenciling my mom's kitchen, I think it was. Um, so that's the Merry, Merry Moments. It's in the mini catalog, and there's snowflakes. There's stripes. There's this cute little pattern, which kind of mimics the um, pattern that's in the, um, the DSP. It's got kind of this same little pattern on it. Those almost look like little hearts at the top. And then there's one more. There's this one. And it's like a, what do you call that? There's a type of material that's got these little dots. Oh, dotted Swiss, maybe? So, um, oh my, oh my goodness, not Mary Mo Adorning Designs. And you can find this in with the gingerbread, um, with the gingerbread and peppermint suite. So, I'm gonna pull out my kit. This is easy. We're gonna take a piece of Whisper White that is four and one fourth by 11. Then you need a piece of real red, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I'm gonna pull this up a little. I'm gonna have to do something. Okay, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Then the piece we're gonna stencil, use the stencil on is four by five and a quarter. And then we have, this is the piece that I stamped, which really could be a scrap piece of paper, three by three for your uh, snowflake. And then one by four, this is the little piece that sits behind it. And then a three-fourths by four. That's what I stamped the, which could be a scrap, but it's, I just measured this out, three-fourths by four inches. That's the piece we're gonna stamp Merry Christmas on. And I believe that is it. So if you wanna take a, oh, houndstooth, thank you. Thank you, Mary. Houndstooth. That is very fancy. <laughs> All right, take a picture, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Got it? Here we go. This is so easy to do, so simple. I am gonna pull this in because I don't wanna get my pretty grid paper dirty. <laughs> this is so easy to do. So here's the stencil. I'm gonna take it and lay it on top. And then I'm gonna bring in my pool party ink. and a blending brush. And I'm gonna take the blending brush and get it nice and inky, but remember, you don't wanna go directly on it. Oh, I guess I do, Valerie, have to get my pretty grid paper inky up. Well, I do have more, <laughs> but it is very pretty. Okay, here we go. You never wanna go ink ink pad to blending brush. You always want to start off like this. Dab on the grid paper and then just start swirling. Oh, swirling it. And I can see I moved it. Well, let's see how this turns out. This was so fun. It's like creating your own DSP. You can make it as light or dark as you want. This fun be pretty with like um, Coastal Cabana. It's a different color combination. The first time I saw this color combination, the pool party in the red, my girlfriend Elizabeth made me a beautiful Christmas card. I still have it. And I, it was just two colors that you wouldn't, oh, need more, that you wouldn't ordinarily put together. Oh, this is going to be interesting. You should make sure that you know where you put it. Uh, okay, I was talking about stenciling. So, do any of you stencil your walls at home? Oh, yes, washi tape to hold it down. That's what I should have done. 
There we go. Can be remember being up like on a step stool and going around. I can't remember the pattern though. Mom, if you're on, do you remember what it was in your kitchen? We paint we got painted over. Well, you all get the idea. There you go. So we're gonna set this aside. Oh, actually we're not. We're gonna leave that open. Um, so the snowflake is definitely my uh, my favorite out of out of the, the set. Um, I can see myself using that a whole lot. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull in this three by three piece. And, oh, don't forget your pierce mat. You did a wall with bookshelves and navy. Oh, that sounds beautiful. That sounds gorgeous. All right, this is the stamp from the Gingerbread and Peppermint. It's photopolymer, so you wanna make sure you've got pierce, a pierce mat underneath it. There we go. And then because the you could either cut it out with your, um, with your pa paper snips, but thankfully, there's a fantastic die set that goes with this. So that's what I use to cut out the snowflake in no time at all. So magic of television, that's what I did. And then we're gonna start gluing together so I can now put this away. Oh, yeah, I think it, Pennsylvania Dutch design. I think you're right, mom. That was back, back in the day when, um, for those of you who go to Checkered Cottage, it used to be the stencil duck. I know some of you girls, some of my customers, they go all the time. I don't get there like we used to. We used to go all the time. But yeah, the Checkered Cottage, is that right? Checkered Cottage Month? Checkered, yeah, Checkered. Checkered Cottage used to be Stencil Duck. Okay, this little real red piece is gonna go right across. See how quick it comes together. So this card would be, um, e it would be easy to make mass produce, which at this time of the year, that's what we're looking for, right? For you girls who make bunch of cards. There we go. And then the next thing I did was I took the real red. And this Merry Christmas is from the snowman season. Such a cute little stamp set. I almost forgot about using it, but it's got great words. And the, the um, you know, I like to match up my font. This sounds silly. I like to match up the font of that I use um, with the, the images. So this, um, this font kind of was more whimsical. Um, and so I thought it went really cute with the, the snowflake. And then the next thing I did was I took my paper snips. And I'm not going to do it because I've gabbed so much tonight. But I cut this out, which you probably have heard me say. I, did, I avoided doing this. Like people have started doing this quite uh, a bit stampers all across stamping up all across the stamping world they started cutting out just with paper snips um, and I avoided it because I thought oh it's not gonna look right and then I started doing it and I love it I love it so the next thing we're oh and I oh you know what I forgot a piece forgot a piece girls this piece is, um, you can use this piece <laughs> and stencil on it here. Let's bring that back in. So you need two pieces that are this size, three-fourths by four. So let me just go ahead and grab my stencil. 
I just thought it needed something. It was too white. I just do want it was. It needed some some texture or some uh something behind it. So I just took my stencil and went right back over and added some snowflakes onto the white. And I'm not gonna lift it up till I'm happy. <laughs> and next time, Brenda, I'm gonna remember the washi tape. <laughs> and I've got some probably like on the other side of this table. There we go. Oh, that's really dark. That's okay. Definitely be able to tell that it's snowflakes. Oh, thank you. I think so too, Sandy. In this in the snowman um, season, I love this one. He is adorable. And then hoping the season builds heartwarming memories. So, and then if you if you've looked in the back, there's also a a snowman punch, which I thought about using on the next card. But I didn't. So we're to cover up that cute Merry Christmas. That's going to come across here. And then I'm going to take my snowflake and I'm going to glue it down. And I'm not using dimensionals on it. There you can see there's always two sides of the paper. I'm going to pull this right there. And then I didn't, I didn't grab my mini dimensionals, but I'm going to show you what you can do. So I just like to hang on to the outside of the dimensionals. You never want to throw it away because it's all good. And I just take it and cut small pieces. This is what we did a lot before uh, mini dimensionals came. My, bit, my min, mini dimensionals are in another another bag upstairs in with this the stamping stuff from our classes so it's I thought well I'm gonna show you how to do this just because I just want you to know don't ever throw this stuff away because it's still good there we go okay sweet little Merry Christmas I'm flicking, flicking, flicking. <laughs> uh, there we go. And it's going to go, so this was one thing. I was trying to find one that originally I was stamping on that white piece. And I couldn't find one that was short like this. And then I saw another, another demonstrator. She had a card similar to this. And she just put it right over this snowflake. Ta-da! Okay, and then we've got to get some red rhinestones out and my take your pick tool. And, oh, this was the other thing I learned. Ah, you know, I'm kind of like, usually, how many do I usually put on? If I'm putting jewels on, I always tell you, you know, you want to do like odd numbers, right? And there were girls this weekend during the, the convention, they were like, <laughs> they were bejeweling their stuff up. And I thought, well, maybe I just need to learn to put on <laughs> more jewels. But I, for tonight, let's see, one, two, oopsie, one, two, three, four. I know what I did. I put, let's see, I put five, but I had one right up here. Well, where am I going to go with this one? There. There, there. Well, that one's kind of easy. I don't like it. This one. Let's move this one down. So, girls, I don't want you to think that you can only put three of something. <laughs> you can use more than three. I thought maybe my, my friends feel like <laughs> they think, yeah, odd numbers, right? You always want odd numbers. So, one, two, three, four, five. There. But I thought, oh my goodness, I was watching. And she's the one girl, she is a. She is a, I think she's hit her $2 million mark. And she was just bedazzling everything up. And I thought, I've got to learn to put more than three. So three and five. Yeah, I don't think I'd go more than five. I'm just getting used to doing five. Well, 
<laughs> but anyway, I do like it. Oh no, one more thing. We're gonna do this, the Wink of Stella. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some shimmer and shine. So here we go. If you missed this last week, watch this. We're gonna just take the Wink of Stella and sounds like I'm making music. So if you like glit, oh, Mary Teal, you're going to like this because you don't, it's like dazzling diamonds without the glitter, and it does make it like very shimmery. So the one thing I said last week, you never want to do this like with another finished card around because it does splatter, but I love it because it kind of looks like that shimmery. It's raining Wink of Stella, <laughs> yeah. Um, it looks like sh like a shimmery, the shimmery white cardstock that we have, but it's in colors and it just puts a faint little, there are some larger dots on there, but it does live, it's like a shimmery effect. I hope you like it. Thank you, It thanks. Thank you, Mary Teal. <laughs> it's raining Wink of Stella. All right, one card down and then this one. I hope you like it. I had fun making it. I started out, I wanted to do another Christmas card for you. All right, girls. Do you see this? This is definitely not my own idea, but I, I created the, the pattern and the book. I mean... I use, I use different DSP. I got this as a swap a long time ago as a different type of card. And um, look, it's like a little package. <laughs> oh, and I used glue dots. I did use two glue dots. So um, the girl that, uh, the swap card that I got, um, she, I think she had a little piece of Velcro under here. Okay, you love this one? What? I'm going to show you how to do this one, but watch. I had such a good time making this one. Look at this one. <laughs> a birthday package. And this is from the Hey Birthday Chick. Huh? Who would have thought? Yes. Valerie, if I would have had more time, I would have made a little pocket for a gift card. So this die, happy birthday, fit perfectly on the tag. On the inside, let's celebrate you. And you're right, right here um, would be a really cute place to put a gift card. Same with the Christmas card. But I wanted to show you this. This is done, this is satin ribbon, which I'm gonna use on the other card. This is that DSP that's part of the um, host rewards, that big pack that you can get with $150. So both those patterns. This is Bermuda Bay. And then Let's Celebrate You is from Hey Birthday Chick. And then there's a die in there. There it is. But it, oh, you can't really tell, but it's that, it is the happy birthday. So, isn't that fun? I was like, oh, that's perfect for this little tag. So, I'm going to set this one aside, and I'm going to pull out the kit for our Christmas one. So, the um, card base, real easy, five and a half by eight and a half. And then you're going to score it at one inch and five and one eighth, which I'll do. Let's see. I'm going to do that right now. Just to get this out of the way. Okay. Let's see if it shook. I, I don't know if I'm getting this in the camera or not. Is it showing? Yep, it's showing. Okay. Here we go, one inch and five and one eighths. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside because I got some tips to tell you about that. 
And then the DSP that I used is from Gingerbread and Peppermints. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm gonna put this back on so in case you, when you wanna take a screenshot. Okay, the DSP, Gingerbread and Peppermint. I had a lot of scraps, so this was perfect. So this is three and an eighth by five and one fourth. Oh, see this, look what I had to cut up, girls. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I use this, I'm actually, I have to order another pack because I just love this so much. <laughs> Those snowflakes and the ornaments, but here, this made a perfect wrapping paper, paper, three and an eighth by five and a fourth, then three fourths by five and a fourth, that's the top piece, then... There's lots. This is your inside piece. This is three and seven eighths by five and one fourth with a uh, basic white. And then all oh, these little tiny pieces. Okay, this piece is one by two and seven eighths inches. This is this what is one of the pieces that makes it look like a package. This is also, I don't know if you can tell, this is the one that the stencil reminded me of. So there's that one. And then the piece that goes on the to frame it, one and one fourth by three and one eighth. And if you know me, I could never do this. Putting in my plug for my Victor ruler. <laughs> Could not do this card because this has got the one eight one sixteenths and one eighth measurement. So if you have trouble with measurements, yes, I admit, get yourself one of these off of Amazon. Okay, this one is what I used for the little tag. It's seven eighths by two and a half. Thank you, thanks. And then this one is three fourths by two and a quarter. And these actually are the pieces that we use to punch with your, um, with the banner punch. So, I um, hope you can, let me move that out of the way. Can you get all that in a, in a screenshot? I hope you can. Oops, move that. This one comes together really quickly. So here we go. The one tip, since we've already scored this, the well, yeah, the tip that I have about it is you want, you've scored it, but you want these pieces because it, um, you want it to lay down really nicely. I guess is that. So I really took my bone folder and worked both directions to get it to lay down. So you broke down the fibers, you break down the fibers when you're doing this. And then the same with the bottom piece. So don't forget to do that, otherwise you're gonna have a puffy card, which is okay. It is the best ruler, Karen, it is. I wish I would have had the thing in high school. <laughs> okay, it's still popping up a little bit, but the glue dot will take care of it. And I think once it's in an envelope, you know, it goes through the mail. All right, here's our pretty DSP that we're gonna make into wrapping paper. And then here's our top piece. So it's fun. I mean, I've got a lot of scraps, you know, from doing the big classes and that. It'll be fun to see the different combinations. And I think I am going to turn this Valerie into a um into the into gift cards. Gift card holders, I guess I should say. Wait. So, 1 and a fourth by 3 and an eighth. This kind of made it look more like a package. Right in the center. And then one by two and seven eighths. I almost
almost did this one. Nope, I, was, I still like the red. Yay, Julie, you are gonna get your money's worth out of it, I know. All my friends who have um, ordered it, they're like, we love it, and I do. I, I'm ready to order a second one, because to be honest with you, I couldn't find this one. <laughs> it was in the bottom of my tote bag from um, stamp classes, and I, but I couldn't find it like for a couple days. And I had a group of women that I did a class for, and I couldn't find it when I was cutting their cardstock. Okay, here's this little piece. The other idea I had after I got out this, um, uh, what is it called? Triple banner. Is it the trip? No, triple, the banner punch. I thought you could also use probably the tailored tag like I did last week. Okay, I'm gonna show, put it down in there because it is tinier. It's tinier than most pieces. I, ugh. there we go. There's that one. You can see this one got a little wink of Stella on it. So we use this side. And then the same thing for this one. So, oh, did you see that fly? All right, the stamp set that I used for this one is poinsettia petals. I am typically, usually when I uh, make cards, it's Christmas cards, I, it's, I'm a Merry Christmas girl, but, I could not find a um, I could not find a Merry Christmas that was short enough to go on this tag. I tried um, I had one already from the banner year. It has an adorable Christmas wishes on it and then I had stamped holly berries and leaves. Um, but it was too long to fit in this area right here. So that's when I caved and did happy holidays, which is Okay, um, I also have a tip, which I'm gonna show you on the, uh, this, the photopolymer, um, this one is something I learned this weekend, which is so smart about getting it positioned on your uh, block correctly. So we're using real red again. Yeah, gift card, I know, aren't gift cards wonderful? I have a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot of those this year. Okay, happy holidays. And towards the end, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna leave that out. And then that gets put on my little red piece. And oh, you know what? I should not have glued that down. Ah, that's what I get for gabbing. Okay, this I actually tucked underneath here. Ah, the Stamp and Seal Plus, it's amazing for, for adhesive. Actually, and you know what else? I'm gonna do this too. I, it's, it's a little thick under there, so I think I'm gonna trim it this time. Let's hope I do this correctly. Just because it's a little bulky under there. So I think it's gonna work. Yeah, college students, yeah. Okay, we're on our way. Three, three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Now this is what I learned this weekend. I'm gonna show you this. So, so I was having, um, sometimes you have trouble getting photopolymer stamps like on straight because they're like this, watch. They're you know, sometimes, especially if it's a longer one, like that Merry Christmas, this is what I learned this weekend. Take your photopolymer stamp and put it down like that, and then take your block and, and smoosh it on top of it. And that way, let's see, I gotta, I'm doing this, I gotta do it close it doesn't like bend, you know, like some, like I was trying to, I always have tried to place 
hold it and put it on the block and it's and it wouldn't be straight but when you do it like this then it's easier to get a straighter line I hope that makes sense it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like I explained it very well but put the photo photopolymer stamp down on the whatever pierce mat on your grid paper and then put, mush it with the block yay hope that helps I hope that helps thank you're welcome Karen okay little bit of stamp and seal see how quick that came together I also felt the need to decorate this but I ran out of time because I was playing with that other card the birthday card all right we're gonna take um, a little bit uh, we're gonna take some glue dots two glue dots is what I used just so it stays closed till the recipient, uh, let's see, yeah, and I put it on this, till the recipient opens it up to there. Close that down, and then the last thing I did was I took about, this is about 10, 10 and a half inches of ribbon, and did my bunny ear bow Yes, you can, you definitely can make it for a lot of different, yeah, occasions. And yeah, I got to figure out the, um, the, the little pocket and I'll give you measurements for that the next time we do one. It's a cute card, not just for Christmas. Okay. And I think you'll see on my sample, I had extra, I made it an extra big bow. So it looked more, it wasn't just. I like the idea that the, like the tails hang down. Um, and so another glue dot. I might have used more. Yeah, I think I did more ribbon than. Might have been more like 12 inches. Then you fiddle with it and get it looking the way you want. And then you take it and touch it to the glue dot. And right in the center. How about that, girls? <laughs> Oops. Hopefully. Oh. oh. Well, hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> oh, try to get it down low so it attaches to this piece right here. Ah. Oh, I played with this all afternoon and it didn't do that. Okay, you want to get it? Yeah. Get it so your little glue dot touches this red cardstock and not your your basic white smudge. All right, um, I think, let me bring this all back in. Here's the birthday card. Yeah, there you can see the tails are, you know, really long on the bow. Let me get this out of the way. There's those two. And then, oh my goodness. And then there's your Merry Christmas. Thanks, girls. Thank you very much. All right, hold on one second. All right, we're back. <laughs> I only went to 8 o'clock. That's amazing. I'm glad that my cards were quick since I gabbed so much. Um, thanks for tuning in tonight. I... And <laughs> And thanks for the congr congratulations. Um, I appreciate all of you. Don't forget that if you haven't already, um, uh, head, uh, don't forget if you haven't discovered my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe. And I had a customer ask me this this week. If you're new to YouTube, you when I say to subscribe, you don't pay there is not a subscription fee um, it's absolutely free so um, I would greatly appreciate that if you would uh, subscribe and then you can also hit the notification bell um, so far the uh, videos that I have uploaded have all been um, either the promotions that are going on or um, the videos that I've done like on my Sunday um, Facebook lives. My plan is to do uh, more 
quick cards. Um, I just haven't done that yet, but I will. I will. So thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Oh, if you're placing an order on Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday or Thursday, and, and it's $149.99 or less, please use my host code, which is xt 4 h 2 c 3 2 I would greatly appreciate it. If your order is $150 or more, then I want you to receive the host rewards. So don't use that host code. That's set up for me. Um, if you have any questions, if you're interested in joining for $75, please give me a shout out. I'd love to answer all your questions. Thanks so much. God's blessings. Bye-bye.